you might be wondering where to go from here after you receive your degree. Um, and that was something I had to, you know, definitely, you know, get out of my moment of depressions and just understand that I need to put in the effort, I need to put in the work and things will come um, in the, in due time, you know, what's meant for me will be for me. So uh, that was, it was a challenging time as when school ended till when I actually landed a, a full-time job because it did take me going to job fairs. It did take me going on LinkedIn, Indeed, Glassdoor, doing my research, um, going to a temp agency to actually land, you know, my position, not this one specifically, but land um, employment within the city. It took me actually sitting there and using all avenues, the career center, everything to get to where I am. So what I'm going to tell you is just please do not be discouraged. What's meant for you will be for you. You have to be patient though, but, but you also have to put in the work. And that's definitely uh, something I would definitely want to leave on your ear is that it's okay that if it's not going to happen right away, but you have to actually put in the effort and know that it's coming. Just be patient. When I uh, started at Microsoft, when I got my offer, I partied all weekend. I wish, <laughs> I wish I went and touched up on my Excel, Excel skills because when I started, it was no joke. Again, I wasn't good at math. Um, sorry, I think I spotlighted myself. I wasn't good at math. Um, I knew this much about client relationships or I thought I did, but the only way I overcame it, especially being second generation and having, you know, being the first child having a job at a big tech company in America, um, I had to believe in myself. You have to give yourself time and space to breathe and not kind of like what we were saying before, bouncing off of Stacy as well. Give yourself a chance to see what you can do. Even if you study something for a week straight for 30 minutes, you can do it. Um, Jelani and I, certainly Stacy and I certainly did not get here just by, you know, just talking to people, like we said, just by, you know, reading up on something, just by trying it, you have to put in the effort and you, you'll be surprised how far you can go. Just don't be your own enemy. I would say, give yourself, if you have an opportunity, if somebody's interested in you, make sure you're checking off all the lists and dots of, of where you can excel and what you can bring, even be honest with your team and where you can improve. Um, so I would say, going back to the question, uh, my biggest area of improvement was just me, was just understanding like, hey, I'm good at this. I'm not so good at that. I need to catch up to speed and giving myself time to do that, making sure that you have a journal to note down where you are in the process and have a deadline and when you want to get something done. And there's just so many free resources like before you, you go into digital marketing, before you do something like Flatiron School, even they have resources before you get in that you can, that you can prepare for. Um, you see, like, I never thought I would be considering being a software engineer or a data scientist after what I do now. So just give yourself a chance. Don't don't shortstop yourself just because somebody next to you is is more versed than you or became they came from an Ivy League school. That doesn't matter. What matters is that you have the attitude to get it done. If you think your career is going to be linear, just get that out of your head right now. Just get it out of your head right now that it's just going to go like this. Um, it's much more of a, it's, it's kind of like the stock market is ebbs and flows. So I've been laid off, I think, what is it three times in my career? Um, not necessarily for performance stuff, but for, as again, again, I startup, right? So the startup world, it's kind of, it's kind of comes with the territory that there's a lot of volatility. So what I had to as, a, as an employer, employee, a nine to five employee, I had to kind of shift my perspective. Um, my perspective now is that I am a, my, my current employer is my, is my client, right? Like that's my client, right? And I, I am contracted for 40 hours every week to support my client in their goals. Now, Shifting my perspective like that, if they discontinue my contract, I don't feel, I don't get in my feelings about that. So that's one thing I had to really, I had to disconnect myself emotionally from the business. Because I'll tell you this, 
the one of the craziest times was I got laid off like two jobs ago. I got laid off on my birthday, right? Like on my sheet that on my sheet that says that um, you know I'm no longer working at this company. It says March fifteenth on it, right? Which is it's crazy. So you can you can imagine how difficult it is to like detach yourself emotionally from that. But that's what I that that's the biggest thing for me for all of you is to to see yourselves as selling your time, selling forty hours of your of your um, of your week to somebody, and when you do that, you actually recognize that you have a whole lot more hours to commit to yourself because you everyone should be thinking like an entrepreneur should be thinking you are the business whether you have an LLC or not. Make sure to check out the My Career tab on the BC Navigator app, where you can track your career progress based on the amount of credits you've earned, stay updated on upcoming events from the Magner Center, and watch our videos for insight and advice on your career field.